Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read, and today I'm going to be doing a birthday book haul. So it's my birthday today. I'm filming on the actual day and I'm really excited because I have a huge pile of gifts here from all of you guys, which I'm so thankful for. So thank you so much for that, first of all. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what is in all of these packages. I've been watching them sit in the corner for a very long time now and I really wanna open them. So let's get into finding out what is in these packages. I'll also check for notes in the packages too, so I can thank you guys for sending them. Hopefully there are notes. I know Amazon doesn't always put them in there. So yeah, I hope I can. And if I don't thank you, but it is like a gift that you sent me, just let me know in the comments down below so that I can thank you there. So before I get into the packages, I wanna show you guys the one book that Marcus got me, which I am super pumped about. And I know a lot of you guys have read this already. And that is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I'm so pumped to read this. I've been hearing amazing things about it and I personally loved The Martian. So I'm really excited to get another like space journey that Andy has wrote and just dive into it and just love it. Like I feel like I'm going to enjoy it um, pretty much because it's like everything I want. Single person in space trying to survive. Like I love stories like that. So I'm really looking forward to this one and yeah, I'm just super excited. Okay, so let's get into the packages. So this first package is from Danny. So I know what this is already. She told me she was sending this to me, but I'm still really excited to show you guys. Yay! So Danny uh, actually sent me Jay's Gay Agenda and she put a little note on here that says, happy birthday from Danny. So, we were talking when we got arcs from Harper Collins a while back and I was really looking forward to Jay's Gay Agenda and she ended up getting it, I didn't get it, but she offered to send it to me and I was like, uh, yeah, I would love that, that's so nice, thank you. Um, I believe she didn't really enjoy it very much and it's like it's just probably not like her style and I think that I'm gonna love it. <laughs> so I'm really excited to have this arc now and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. So for any of you that don't know, this book is about a boy named Jay and he is the only gay kid in his small um, hometown and it's like a very rural hometown. But then his family moves to Seattle and Jay always wanted to experience all these different things that somebody should in a relationship or in the pursuit of a relationship, but he couldn't really do it in his home, like rural town, because it was a very small community and he was the only gay kid there. So now that they're moving to Seattle, he has a whole to-do list called his agenda that he is going to go out and try and do. And so it's just him exploring his sexuality and having a great time trying to find a relationship. So I think it's gonna be a really fun book and I'm really looking forward to a fun contemporary read. Anyways, thank you so much, Danny. I'm really looking forward to this one. And yeah, I'm just super excited. Let's see what this is. I have a feeling that this is a chocolate bar because <laughs> I have some snacks on my wish list. And it is a chocolate bar. So it is, ooh, a Terry's chocolate orange chocolate bar. I love Terry's chocolate orange. That's like the one thing I always ask my mom for for Christmas is a chocolate orange. <laughs> so that's really exciting. I'm looking forward to eating this. It says, just a small treat to make this special day sweeter. Happy birthday from Hugo, AKA Scientist's Reading World. Aw, thanks Hugo. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be snacking on this later or maybe I'll save it for when I'm just reading my book and just want a sweet treat, but thanks Hugo. So this next one, I don't think this is a birthday present. This was actually a book that an author reached out to me and they said they were gonna send me and the reason they said they were gonna send me this is because their book is, well, they sold me on it. They told me that their book is very similar to Red Rising, which is my favorite series of all time. So I'm kind of excited to read this, but anyways, let's open it up and see what it looks like. So this is the book and it's called Stormblood and it's by Jeremy Sazau, I think is how you say that. So Jeremy is the one that reached out to me. Uh, I think this book looks fantastic. Like, look at that cover. Look how cool that looks. So if it's anything like Red Rising, I'm super pumped to read this and yeah, just enjoy this like cool world that Jeremy's built. I believe this is the first book in a series too. So Jeremy might have just got me hooked onto a new series. We're gonna have to wait and find out what I think of it. But thank you so much, Jeremy, for sending me this. I'm really excited to eventually read this one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna read the back of this because I'm really intrigued to find out what it's about. So, it says, Vakov Fukasawa used to be a reaper, an elite soldier fighting for Harmony against the brutal invading Harvester Empire. Harmony made him elite by injecting him and thousands of other reapers with the DNA of an extinct alien race to make him stronger, faster, and more aggressive. And it worked, at a cost. Because alongside their super army, Harmony created an illicit drug market that left millions hopelessly addicted to storm tech. Disgusted and disillusioned, Vakov walked away when the war was over. Only Harmony never took their eye off him, and when his former Reaper colleagues start being killed, their murders form a pattern Vakov has to investigate, even though the closer he comes to the truth, the more addicted to storm tech he becomes. That sounds really cool. Like... Already, just reading this synopsis, I can picture this as like a sci-fi movie. So, yeah, I think this book is going to be awesome, and I'm really looking forward to this now. Okay, on to the next box. Let's find out what's in this one. Oh, that was kind of disappointing. Oh, I want to hear the pop. There we go. So... This one is The Dead and the Dark, and I believe this is a very new novel from what I can tell. Like, I've seen this on BookTube lately, but I'm pretty sure this is new. So it came with a note, and the note says, Happy birthday, hope you have a great day from Megan Bailey. Aw, thanks, Megan. That's so nice of you. The Dead and the Dark. I don't even know, like, what this is about. I'm, like, very curious, but it looks super cool. And I know that lots of other people have talked about this. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to read it and see, like, what the synopsis says. Okay, so Marcus just looked this up for me, and it actually just came out on August 3rd. So this is, like, a brand new book. So thanks, Megan. That is awesome. And I read the synopsis, and it's, like, about a small town with ghost hunters and, like, very haunting, creepy things happening in this small town. And I think a girl's boyfriend goes missing. And so this girl, her dads are, like famous ghost hunters and so she is like gonna help this girl try and find her boyfriend um yeah that sounds awesome sounds like a really creepy book that I'm down for and I am just like always excited to get more creepy books so I think this is gonna be great thank you so much Megan all right let's open this one now what is this ah <laughs> this is so exciting Oh my god, I'm so pumped. It's a kid's book of the alien movies. Ah! <laughs> I had this on my wish list because I watched Steph from Coffee Over Apples talk about this book and I was like, I need that because I love the alien series. And so, yeah, it's like a kid's book slash graphic novel of the aliens. I am so excited. Ah! Oh my god. Like, I'm just, I'm so pumped to read this. It's gonna be such a quick read, because it's, like, literally a children's book, but... <laughs> the tagline, okay, so it's called The Alien Next Door, and the tagline is, In space, no one can hear you clean. <laughs> the original is, In space, no one can hear you scream, but, like, oh my god, this is so funny. I'm so pumped to fly through this little book. It says, see a new caring side to the legendary science fiction monster as he tends to Jonesy the cat, endeavors to keep his house cleaner than the Nostromo, and searches for his place on a cold new alien world, Earth. From face huggers to feather dusters, discover how the perfect killing machine relaxes after a day of scaring space marines. I'm like, so excited. This is so awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. So let's see if there's a, there is a note. Okay, it says, Happy birthday, Eric. I hope you have the best time and get spoiled with all the books and candy. Also, this book looks so cute. Holy heck. From As Told by Bex. Aw, thanks, Bex. I'm like, as you can tell, like I'm super excited about this. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and sharing with you guys in a booktube video how I felt about it. I also just love Jonesy. Such a cute cat. It's like the most iconic cat in sci-fi. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. On to the next one. Okay, this one I'm also very excited about. I mean, a lot of this stuff was on my wish list, so like I knew about it already, but this one I've had on there for quite a while, so I'm pretty pumped. So this one was A Song of Wraiths and Ruin 
which is really cool. Like, look at that awesome shiny cover. I actually watched a video where HarperCollins put it out. It was like their process of designing this book cover. And it was really cool to watch and like see everything they went through to come up with this and like all the different photography shoots they did. Um, but yeah, this has been on my wish list for like over a year now because this came out last year and I'm super pumped to read this one. So let's see who this is from. So I'm gonna read the note. Happy birthday, Eric. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. I've been wanting to read this book, but haven't had a chance to pick it up. So now I give you the job to read it for me. Hope you'll like it from May. Aw, thanks, May. I really am excited to read this too. So that's awesome. Ooh, let's check under the dust jacket. So it's just green. <laughs> it's just green, but the spine looks kind of cool. It's got like this like sparkly effect to it. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so I just reread the synopsis of this book because I needed a refresher. Okay, so in this book, there's two main characters. Um, the one main character, he has his younger sister abducted by a spirit. And in order to get his younger sister back, he is tasked to kill the princess of Zoran. Now, the princess of Zoran is the other main character and her mother just recently passed away. But she knows some like dark magic in order to resurrect her. But in order to pull off this dark magic, she needs the beating heart of a king. Now there's a competition happening in this city to find the next king. And so this boy enters the competition so that he can get to the princess. And the princess is planning to marry the winner of this competition. So then once they are winning the competition, they'll become king and then she can kill them to resurrect her mother. So this is like an enemies to lovers book. And I am so pumped because like, I'm, I'm just excited to see like where this goes. They're both trying to kill each other and then probably are going to catch feelings and things are going to happen. And also it's like a competition style. So it's also bringing like cool aspects into it that I'm really excited to see how they do that. Uh, yeah, I'm just really pumped to see how this book goes. And I know that Marcus really wants to read this one too. So yeah, we're both very excited about this. Thank you so much, May. On to the next one. So this one is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Calendar, and this has been on my wish list for a while too, ever since it came out last year. I've heard so many people say amazing things about this book, and I've been really excited to read this one. Uh, this one is about a trans main character who recently moved to a new town, and I believe they're going to a new school, and they're trying to just be in this new school without being like the trans kid. And so it's just like their story and their evolution of being themselves and I think that it's going to be so beautiful. I'm really excited to read this one. Like I said, everybody's been giving this glowing reviews and so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And the note says, happy birthday Eric, hope you have an amazing day from Hillary aka Melted Books. Thank you so much Hillary. I am pretty sure I have watched your review on this and you really liked it so I'm really looking forward to reading it so that I can talk with you about it. Okay, this next one's in a big poofy package so let's find out what this one is. Ooh, there's more than one thing in this. Ooh, chocolate pretzels. I love chocolate and pretzels. So look, this is the perfect combination. Yay, thank you. Loveless by Alice Oseman. Oh, that's awesome. I've been really wanting this one. And I love like it's in this edition too. I love it so much. Oh, that's so exciting. I recently just got um, Nick and Charlie, which is the other one that follows Heartstopper, so I can't read it yet because I haven't read Heartstopper Volume 4 and it's like after all of that. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil anything for myself. Actually, you can see it, it's right there. But yeah, so I have that on my shelf just sitting there and I will hopefully get to read it once I'm done Heartstopper. I believe this book is following a character named Georgia who is trying to find love, but she doesn't really like know how and I believe in this book she discovers that she's asexual and so it's like her kind of learning this new term and kind of realizing that that's like that's what she is and that's like how she feels about things and just going forward trying to find a relationship with this new information. I like the last part of the synopsis. It says, is she destined to remain loveless or has she been looking for the wrong thing all along? So I think this is going to be good. I already love Alice Oseman's graphic novels. I have not actually read any of Alice Oseman's books yet, but I 
am really looking forward to them based on her graphic novels and how much I love those. I think that they're gonna be great. So thank you so much. Let's see if there's a note. So this is the note. It says, I haven't read this yet, but it's on my TBR and I hope you like it. Happy birthday, Sarah from Sarah's Coffee Cup. Aw, thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate the gift and I'm really looking forward to reading this while eating some chocolate pretzels. On to the next one. Okay, let's open this. There's a little card on it. I'll open it first and then I'll read the card. This is really like nice, a gift bag. Like I would definitely reuse this. Oh my goodness, it's wrapped again. <laughs> it's... Guys, you're making this so hard to open. Ooh. Star Daughter. This has been on my wish list since last year too. This one came out last year and it sounded really cool. So I'm gonna need a refresher because I forget what, what exactly it's about. I'm assuming a star daughter, um, but yeah, I'm gonna read the synopsis now. Okay, so I just read the synopsis. I'll try not to butcher it, but essentially this girl is a star daughter and her family uh, like are also stars and they're up in the sky. And so what happens is her father ends up getting burned by a star fire from her and she is called up into the stars to go up there but when she gets up there she has to be put into this like competition to find out who's going to be like the next head of the stars or something like that so it's another competition book which i'm so pumped for i'm excited to see like how this goes because it's like a competition in the sky i believe <laughs> i don't know there's so much that i don't know about it but like i'm really looking forward to just diving in and enjoying it hopefully it sounds really cool and yeah i think this is gonna be awesome so the note on the bag says wishing you a happy birthday may today be filled with good memories good friends and all the joyous things in life from ari augustine thank you so much ari i'm really looking forward to reading this and yeah thanks for like doing the gift wrap too that's so cool i'll see you tonight on my live stream this next package is from my friend jordan uh jordan has previously got me battle royale for my birthday also a book called superpowers um all big books and this also feels like a big book so i'm really curious to find out what this is there's already a hole in it so this should be pretty easy actually i can probably just do it it's just one big book what is it ah <laughs> so jordan got me the second book of the superpowered series this is year two um, the first one is right there. I have not read that one yet, but now I have the second one and like, look how big this is. It's over 700 pages. So this is the first one. I'm just going to read the back of it so you can get the idea of this series. So it says, knowledge is power. That would be the motto of Lander University had it not been snatched up and used to death by others long before the school was founded. For while Lander offers a full range of courses to nearly all students, it also offers a small number of specialty classes to a very select few. Lander is home to the Hero Certification Program, a curriculum designed to develop students with superhuman capabilities, commonly known as supers, into official heroes. Five of this year's freshmen are extra special. They have a secret aside from their abilities, one that they must guard from even their classmates. Because for every one person in the world with abilities they can control, there are three who lack such skill. These lesser super beings, powers as they are called, have always been treated as burdens and second class citizens. Though there has been ample research in the area, no one has ever succeeded in turning a powered into a regular human, let alone a super. That is, until now. So that's the first book, and now I have the second book these giant things. So uh, these ones are definitely gonna take me a while to read. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to them. I told Jordan that last time, but I'm gonna have to set aside a month where I like literally do one of these books and then maybe one other book because these are chunkers. But thank you so much, Jordan. I'm really excited to read this series. It sounds like something that I would just love. So yeah, I'm really pumped. On to the next one. So we have A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe by Alex White. So this is definitely a sci-fi book. Um, this is on my, I believe this was on my wish list because Chris Connors told me about it. 
Um, that's my external reviewer for my blog. They also like help me review books from time to time. And we're both like huge sci-fi nerds. So yeah, I believe this was because of them. And then also the robots of Gotham, which I believe they also told me to put this on my wish list because they read it. And yeah, this is like another chunk of a book. So this looks cool. Um, I don't know what either of these are about though. So the two notes, there's two notes, I think one for each book and they say, happy birthday. Here's another chunker for you to read. It's really good though from Chris. So these are both from Chris Connors, makes sense. <laughs> and the other one is, this is the first in the trilogy. I got thoroughly lost in this world. Awesome. So this is the chunker they're referring to. <laughs> How many pages is this? 676. This one is 676 pages. And then this is the first one in a series. Um, Chris recommended both of these to me and now they have sent them to me. So thank you so much, Chris. I am really excited to have two more pretty cool looking sci-fi books for my shelf. I'll read the synopsis of this one because it's pretty short. It says, a washed up treasure hunter, a hotshot racer, and a deadly secret society. They're all on a race against time to hunt down the greatest warship ever built. Some think the ship is lost forever, some think it's been destroyed, and some think it's only a legend, but one thing's for certain, whoever finds it will hold the fate of the universe in their hands, and treasure that valuable can never stay hidden for long. That sounds really cool. I'm excited to read this one. I'm not gonna read the synopsis of this one because it's a little bit longer, but it said an epic adventure of man versus machine. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Anything with robots is always pretty cool. So thank you so much, Chris. And on to the last one. So this is Burn by Patrick Ness. I have only actually read one other book by Patrick Ness and that is Release. And I really enjoyed that one. Um, but I have had this on my wish list for a while because I want to read more books by Patrick Ness to see if it, if he like stands as an author that I will enjoy other than that one book. So I'm really excited about this one. Also it has a dragon on the cover and dragons are badass. So yeah. So the note says, Pretty sure this is set in Washington. It should be a buddy read we do soon because I also own it from Amanda. So of course Amanda wants to do another buddy read and I am perfectly okay with that because I thoroughly enjoy all our buddy reads. We probably do a buddy read like every two months. And so yeah, I'm totally down to do more buddy reads with you Amanda. So thank you so much for sending this to me. So apparently this book is about a girl and her father and they have to hire a dragon to help them like maintain their farm and apparently this is like one of the lowliest things to do because having a dragon help with the farm or like having a dragon help at all is like a thing for like poverty in this world and so it's interesting because the girl is starting to like bond with this dragon and the dragon seems intent on keeping her safe even though the dragon is only hired just to like work the farm um this is all due to her mother passing away so they have been like on hard times her and her father and the sheriff has been showing affection towards the daughter of this family and so the dragon is like kind of protecting her and there's some sort of like malicious intent from the sheriff that the dragon knows about but the girl doesn't and that's all I really know about it but it sounds very interesting so I'm very looking forward to reading this with you Amanda I think we're going to have a great time Okay, so I thought that was the last one, but then Marcus pulled this one out and said that this is from his mom. So, Jenny, I'm opening your book. I'm assuming it's a book. It feels like a book. Ooh! It's monstrous! Is this volume... Volume 2 and Volume 3! So I literally just finished volume one of Monstrous like at the very beginning of August and I loved it. So now I have volume two and three to read. Oh, thank you so much, Jenny. That's so nice. I am super excited to read these. It's another graphic novel series that I found that I love. And yeah, this is going to be awesome. Thank you. Hey guys, so fast forward to the next day and I actually had some more packages arrive. So I'm going to open those up now. There's only two more, so that's not a lot. But uh, yeah, let's find out what's in them. We got another gift bag one, so let's find out what's in this gift bag. This is my favorite color too, so like, green's awesome. 
Oh. Of course, it's still wrapped. <gasps> Yay! Another Alice Oseman book. So this is I Was Born for This. And yeah, as you can see, this is another one of Alice Oseman's books, which makes me super excited because I love Alice Oseman. So this one is I Was Born for This by Alice Oseman. And this one is about three teens who are in this band called The Ark together. Um, I really like this little blurb on the back. It says, Funny and wise, I was born for this is a stunning reflection on the power of believing in something, especially yourself. So if it's anything like uh, Heartstopper, I think it's going to be like so endearing and just heartwarming. And I'm really excited to read more by Alice Oseman. So let's find out who sent this to me. The note says, happy birthday, Eric. Hope you had a magical day. Corey's Book Nook. So thank you, Corey, for sending me that book. That is so nice of you. And I loved the gift wrap too. It's green, the best color. So thanks, Corey. Okay, we got one more. This is the last one. I like how all of these are different because I could totally reuse these for <laughs> other gift wrap. Let's find out what's in this one. Oh my god, this one's like double matter. Okay. Mm, got a thin book. Oh, this one's Honestly Ben by Bill Conisberg. Um, I believe I have, oh yeah, so on the back it shows his other books, Openly Straight. I have that right up here. So now I have another one of his books to go on my shelf. I haven't even read Openly Straight yet, <laughs> so I don't really know what his writing style is like, but I also have this one now. So I'm going to obviously experience both of these, although I think he might have had a part in... Uh, the book Boy Meets Boy, I believe. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But let's find out what this one's about. So the back says, Ben Carver is back to normal. He's working steadily in his classes at the Natick School. He just got elected captain of the baseball team. He's even won a full scholarship to college if he can keep up his grades. All that foolishness with Rafe Goldberg the past semester is in the past. Except there's Hannah, the gorgeous girl from the neighboring school who attracts him and distracts him. There's his mother, whose quiet unhappiness Ben is noticing for the first time. School is harder, the pressure higher, the scholarship almost slipping away. And there's Rafe, funny, kind, dating someone else, and maybe the real normal that Ben needs. So this looks like <laughs> it's going to be a love triangle book, which I'm here for. I haven't read a book with a good love triangle in a while. So that'll be fun. And yeah, thank you so much. So let's find out who sent me this one. It says, happy birthday, Eric. Oh, from Corey's Book Nook. So Corey, you sent me two books. Thank you so much, Corey, for sending me these two books. I'm really excited to read these and add these to my contemporary collection. And that's it for my birthday book haul. I have so many books to read now. Thank you so much to everybody that sent me a gift for my birthday. It honestly just made my day. I literally just spent like an hour and a half just like going through all these presents. And yeah, it just makes me feel like so loved from the booktube community. I really appreciate it. And I'm really looking forward to reading and reviewing these books and showing you guys on future videos. Let me know in the comments down below which book you thought was the coolest that I received out of this haul. And yeah, let me know if you've also read any of these books and you recommend them or like what you thought about them. Anyways, if you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.